So today I am going to show how this PSGN2 instruction works. So this instruction is like a digital switch which uh, gives uh, positive output only when the axis which we have selected is between the range which we have already set in the instruction. So now let's go to the instruction. So this is the instruction, it's simple, G8.4 is the uh, input and uh, this uh, the format of the instruction has been written in D800 and uh, this is the output which gets high when the axis is between the range. So now we can we are seeing the, the uh, output is high because X is 99.042 which is in between minus 100 to 100. So as soon as I take it beyond 100, the output gets off. Now let's go to the ladder and see. Look, th this output is off. Now again, when I take the uh, axis between minus 100 to 100, it will again get on. So we'll see. So right now it is at 100.8 and look, now it's 98, so now the output should be on. Look, it's on. So now let's go to the format where uh, which where we have written this instruction. So it was in D800. So this is the axis which we want to uh, display. So D800, we have written 1. So 1 stands for X, 2 stands for Y and 3 stands for Z, which we can see in this parameter 1, 0, 2, 3. 1, 0, 2, 3. Oh, sorry, I think it was 1, yeah, 1, 0, 2, 3. This is X's name, right? So now we will again go to the data register. Simple. So I have said minus... Uh, 1 lakh to 1 lakh. So, this uh, uh, in this machine, the parameter 1016 is ISB. So, uh, yeah, 1013. So, when these two bits are off, that means it is ISB which can be seen in the manual. So when we have selected ISB, in that case we have to multiply the value by uh, 1 raised to the power 3. So that is why in the register we have, in the register we have written Hundred and then we have added three zeros, which means one raised to power three. So that's how the instruction works. Thank you.